Yo, what is up folks, TrevCG here, and today we're going to take a look at Mario Heroic in Explorer Ranked. I think this is a best of three. It's similar to like kind of the Red White Heroic build that's been very, very popular for a long time. Um, Some Nielsen did really well with it at the Pioneer Pro Tour. Um, but here we're playing Claim to Fame for a bit of extra punch. So the deck looks very much like you'd expect. You have the four favorite Hoplites here, you have the four Monster Success Spears, these are your one-drop creatures. At two, we have 10 District Legionnaire. And then we, of course, have Illuminator Virtuoso. And these are where, really, like, the claim names become really, really useful. Have District Legionnaire with Haste. Or being able to just, like, recur Virtuoso, get some triggers on it. And especially when you can have the ability later on in the game to give it Haste with the Fame. Um, all of a sudden it becomes very, very strong. It gives you a lot of resilience versus decks with the Wraths and Sweepers. Or just lots of kill spells. Um, past that... Monstrous Rage was, uh, I guess it wasn't recent now, but it was like a fairly recent addition to the deck as just a way to get a huge amount of power with Trample. Um, we have a couple of Reckless Rages here for our own creature interaction, uh, and then we have Defiant Strike, draw through your deck, Ancestral Anger, draw through your deck while um, giving it creatures Trample. We have A God's Willing with four copies of Lorna's Escape um, for protection, and then we have three Homestead Courage, just Excellent, super, super efficient thing to train your hobbits with. Um, and also, like, a not terrible thing to pitch uh, to the Virtuoso's ability later on in the game to get keep getting multiple triggers. Um, and then we also have two copies of Sajiri Cells to here. Uh, as this version that can, like, play a slightly longer game with the claim themes. Um, bringing us the pack out of the graveyard and getting a bunch of power. Having, like, a couple of these effects where, hey, he matters a lot for this deck. Um, not so bad here. The other thing about claim to fame is that it affects our mana base. And so we are running four mana confluences, two blood crypts, three goddess shrines, uh, alongside the four sacred foundries. We, our mana base will hurt us a little bit, um, but so far I haven't run into too many issues, and then like a single plane here to find as well. And of course, may as well play the Gigantha. And so we're going to be taking this into best of three explorer ranked. Uh, we have here. A sideboard with that Gigantha. Few copies of Claim to Fame for things like Blue White Control, other matchups that have lots of sweepers, lots of kill spells, where these become very, very useful. There are four copies of Showdown, kind of for similar matchups in a way, where we want to kind of like go long and go late. We then have two copies of a Light of Hope. There's a lot of different things here. There's blowing up popular like enchantments, pretty decent. May sometimes the late game comes up and you may be brought it in aggro for example like some of the red decks have like a bunch of enchantments and also the life gains relevant and also be able to target creatures makes it a little better than some of your main deck options uh two rending volley there's a lot of work versus a grease bag and malia um modern White human there's a bunch of decks rending volley is incredible uh a get lost a bit of a catch-all and then three copies of shoulders edict there's pretty strong edict effect for us to use so let's hop into some of best of three Explorer matches. If you're watching this, please do subscribe to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, also, I'm streaming this live on Twitch. Um, I'll put my Twitch handle on the screen somewhere. Um, but yeah, uh, free to follow me over there as well. Let's get into some games. All right, first match here. We will play, absolutely. Uh, this is an open hand in that we have one favorable hot plate to deal with. They have Gigantha. Um, so I'm gonna keep this even though it's like a little threat light and we hope to get our hoplite in play and keep it alive it's also possible okay they're on red that's fine let's lead with the fire striker okay if we're in red we want to be a racing situation targeting into uh, 3 damage is like fairly hard, 4 damage is very very difficult, so we'd like to cast the Monstrous Rage here. Uh, pay for the Sacred Foundry to do that. Means we get up to uh, base toughness of 5 and are very very hard to kill. Holding the Ancestral Anger is they have like potential blockers, but hey. I think my camera is okay here. Um, but I'll maybe move it up slightly just to Lord. We'll try that. Okay. Uh, we have Anger. They have a Runaway Steamkin. We do not want to sit around with that in play. So I'm going to try and find as much damage as possible. Uh, Monstrous Range. This is effectively 2 damage. 3 damage with the Hoplite Trigger. 9. Burn Attack. I'm going to hold the Rage. Now, 
Uh, and we have five cards in hand. It's like, oh, do they want to block? I maybe should have played a land to try and get them to to do that. But uh, the only one we still steam kit is possible. They're playing something like Boros um, Prowess, or more likely to be something Prowess based. Yeah, I should definitely play the land first. Um, I will play a tap goblish, right? All right. Then etching, the scheme can has one counter on already. Um, which is actually a pretty nice energy with Kamanos. Okay, random resolve definitely says Boros Prowess. Um, we need to cast at least one spell here. Oh, I can't do anything about the portable hold. They have a white source though. They do, they have to pay some life for it. Oh, this is rough, because we could have actually... If we cast this last turn, they wouldn't be able to do this. Which is uh, not a great look, but... Okay, at least this was some recourse. They've got showdowns of the Minic as well. Assuming they're playing here. Um, oh. It's out of the roll. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. I mean... That's rough. Yeah, it was a misclick. It's an interesting one there where like if we got the damage and they catch you the line in the shock line is something we can maybe have considered. Um Okay. Now if they're playing Boros, I don't actually think I want these rending volleys because there's not enough stuff, but something like showdown. Um, even these aren't like great answers. The one thing I am a little worried about is I'm killing our creatures. So like there's some value in these claims. Um in that, like, especially with them on the play, they're likely to have good removal spells and be boarding into more removal spells for our creatures. Uh, in terms of what we want to cut, the security shelters are probably not very effective um, versus the uh, proud stage because of the, the amount of cheap spells. Um, again, especially on the draw, and I'm thinking about get lost on whether any of these other cards are poor. Um, I'm happy to roll with this. I'm relying quite heavily on like having trample effects to get through what could be a large number of tokens too. Mm -hmm. Uh, can't keep the triple orange escape hand. Um, ooh. on the Morgan to six, I think I have to keep this. We'll put one of the angers back. But like, if then depending on how much pressure they're on, we maybe want to wait till turn three before we play this. It's an interesting one. Do we play the Illuminoso? Uh, the Virtuoso. Uh, oh. As a third land. Yeah, we're gonna try and do that and we'll see how it goes. If we can go like, all right, make a Virtuoso on turn three uh, with protection, we should aim to do that. Unless we have a way to bring it back. Best to go one land. We should definitely, absolutely not give them the chance to kill this, but, but when we could protect it. All right, Steam can is a big game. We're gonna take one here. Uh, if they have the third land, they can potentially um, get enough triggers here. Ooh. We drew the Swift Spear, but I'm gonna play the Virtuoso here. If something horrible happens, we can use the Swift Spear. If they have a third land, they might be able to get Three triggers on the runway steamkin, which give them a few different shots in killing this. Um I am gonna try and go swelling here response, see if they have another removal spell. Uh Okay. I'm gonna discard the homestead courage. Uh Yeah, we don't actually have that much mana. Stuff. I will go pro red. Um, I'll put it at the bottom because if this lives this turn, I think we're likely to be good forever. They could have a um, bulba hole here. That'd be what I was worried about, but I think we're okay. Had a portable hole. All right, fair enough. That's rough. They only get to do a lot of stuff on their turn. What do we win? We win a legionnaire. We have Swiss spear legionnaire. Um, I'm going to go Sacred Fire, it's 14. 
Um, how many cut? I'm trying to think if we can get to a uh, good spot damage wise. We go 12, 11. Are we dead to these? Potentially, but from two lands, it's still like not trivial. Alright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of play into this and regret it later. Hmm. Let's try and leave it off next turn. So next time we've got Ancestral, Courage. This is coming off the top. This is maybe we should describe to the bottom. Maybe this was a punt. Maybe this is bad. We would like to hit a spell with this. Okay, okay, new Steamkin is very dangerous. I think it's probably we can maybe just cast the hand. Uh this costs how much to activate? Uh discard draw four. Four, one less for each oil counter, oil counter every time you cast a non-creature spell. Okay. Uh, they hit a declaration but can't cast that right now. They have one red mana left. They need a single red spell to be able to trigger this again to kind of carry on casting spells. They play the Battlefield Watch Return, so I think they are... Not dead, very close to... Um... Three, four, five, seven, four, five, uh, I think we can scry here first. We can cast this here even. They have to throw enough stuff under the bus. They usually have to throw these two away. So they can throw... Uh... Okay, so leaving a Steamkin with one counter. I'll play this out. Yeah, if I scry the Legion, hmm, uh, it's hard to think in hindsight because we saw the cards. But uh, I think us scrying the Legionaries at the top is bad. They have enough to go Steamkin plus. Oh no, they've got a land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can Declaration away. Hmm, I don't think they'd be able to keep a Steamkin in play. That is rough. Couple of silly things there. They have to block this, right? They may as well cast. They, they have to block this anyway, so they may as well cast it main phase. This just means they can't double block. Also, it's an actually block. Okay. Yeah, so I think mm, we should ascribe the second tentative digitally drains to the bottom. Uh, I may maybe kept one of the Lorenz. Okay, it's not going to do a bunch of stuff. I guess Steam can be two more Renz resolves. There's a peer. They have the man's casters from exile, so they get stomaching tokens. Yeah, so you need a trample if that's right. Yeah, it only feels like we could have got there. Interesting, because in game one I could have cast the spell to put them down to T life, which stops them having a shock land, but like pretty minor. 
Like, there's a bunch of lands that they could have played untapped. This game, like, keeping the Tether Strategy on was, was bad, and maybe putting the Lore Lands on the bottom was not very. The anger is there from Mulligan, eh? But. Hey. Okay. You gotta get one of the Lorenz. Hmm. I like looking to draw a Monstrous Rage and then for them also to block poorly. It's not impossible. Uh, we got that. Alright, game three. There's a fair amount of purple holes that's actually kind of uh, difficult for us to get along with. If this blew apart, I think maybe bringing the Gatlos is like a reason we'll take here. I think I actually kind of want to cut one of them. Although they do give protection from the port pulse. The other things do not. Well, they do, but. Yeah, I guess actually we don't need that. That's like. God's Willing versus Lorenz. They could potentially have some. Oh, it's just better. I'll do this. I'll bring the get just so we have like a potential answer for the portal holes. The other thing is if you can catch it um, on the end of the trigger, if you X, if you destroy it in response to the trigger, then uh, you get to keep the creature in play. I mean, it keeps all the counters and stuff. Okay, we get to be on the play here. I think we can clutch this out. Okay, uh, I'll go ahead and keep this. I don't have resources, but like we're very well positioned if they're looking to just. Um, I can't actually cast this right. They're just looking to kill us stuff. We'll see how it plays out. Play with fire down. Run of our choice about. Not actually have any way to target it. Um If we had our own portable holes, having ends like having portable holes for um runaway steam can is really, really solid. But uh yeah. Impulse on two is tough. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just putting a lot of creatures in play. I don't think I respect them having a sweeper, but I'm gonna overextend into it, get blown out, and then complain about it later. I just don't think you'd be playing Brotherhood's End, right? Okay. Flame Soaker, Flame Soaker. We've got a land. Okay. We've got double Lorans. We can actually do some potential shenanigans and stuff. Uh, attack with these. If they want to double block, I'll cast some spells. If they no block, I'm probably also going to cast a Lorans. You can start pairing one of these up. I'll discard claim here as we don't have a thing on it. I'll scratch to the bottom. I'll discard confluence. Let me draw. Draw an anger. That'd be good for next turn. He's gonna hit and stuff. Then we've got Lorenz up for our turn for like a Bottom of hole. And we can lead with anger here next turn. That's a really, really good stat. That's, uh. Well, multiple angers is pretty uh, game over, I think. Uh, at this point, I'll just the Lauren's escape. I guess we might draw a. We couldn't cast if we draw anyway. Just kind of running through the motions here. Oh, cool. nice. Uh, win our first match. We've been waiting around for that for a while. For, for this to sort itself for a while. Alright, cool. Second match of the Horror deck. Uh, no lands. That one's an easy, easy put back. Opponents on the play. Uh, this is a bit of a weird hand. I think we can keep this and bomb with a fighting strike. 
normally be super risky playing Black Choice, so like blind. We have we have a black source. We don't necessarily have a way to bring it back straight away. Um we have a little land though. That's what our opponent's playing. Ah, uh, I think these generally kind of have to be better than going to five, but it feels bad for sure. Anger. Desired Beach. There. This gives away everything, but I think that's okay. This is definitely a matchup where the claim frames are good. You just have to worry now about getting uh, ran into. Oh, we have a claim, so I feel much better about. Oh no. So, claim frame generally really good versus the So, I'm, the reason I'm playing this out and not waiting for a third turn. Um, it's because we don't have a third land. So if we miss it, we're just like not playing anything forever. That actually looks to be blue white flash, it turns out, which is a, a bit more interesting. See what kind of removal they have, where they have things like portable hole or some other stuff. Um, but kind of interesting. Whenever opponent draws a second card each time that you draw a card, it's really good versus like ancestral anger, that kind of thing. Um, but we'll see. Ideally, we can just like punish them enough that it doesn't matter. Well, I'll, I'll leave the defiant strike here. I'm gonna give them some card draw. I'll discard the homesick courage. Uh, hmm. I'll discard the homesick courage. Then he has drew one card. So like, ideally, we actually cast the anger this turn as well, so they're not drawing even more cards later on. Um, but hey, water removal cell is probably good enough. Uh, we have a Lauren's Escape as our main thing. I like to draw the card while they can't again. We only have the one protection spell anyway. Do I care about Reckless Rage? Not so much. I think I'm going to discard Blood Crypt here. Can we resolve this? We can. Alright, we have another threat. We feel more comfortable. That's okay. Let's go to combat. I wonder if they have like a brazen borrower, if there's something else. Okay, consider. Fair. Well, there aren't many things that kill this for one white mana. Alright, plan is to protect this. And kill them with the next turn. What do they have? Oh, it could be Wandering Emperor. They could be like, alright, yeah, I'm gonna play the land and then try and cast it. That's fair. Oh, happily, TT. Um, mana confluence. Again, we uh, we should not leave it defined. Oh, uh, we're going to draw a card anyway because the virtual so this is fine. Here is all this. Let me get through all of them for strike. Defiant strike. The bonus threat. We only have one way of protecting it. Uh. Yeah. Now we have the leader in some mana. I'm gonna discard the hoplite. Is this some insurance in case this gets exiled somehow as well? Oh, it doesn't actually get one ramp at all. Sell the wreckage. In current year? Yeah. Uh, we kill this. This is fine. We have one basic points. Uh, okay. I was expecting to the wreckage. Uh, they're playing with flash. Like I guess that's like fairly reasonable. I'm just gonna reckless rage this thing now.
and give them the time back. Mm-hmm. We have Tennis Ritual Legionnaire. Uh, because we have Fame from our graveyard as well, but... Uh, hey. They're on 12. We have some threats. There's no reason decisions. Yeah, I was ready for, like, Wandering Emperor, some number of removal spells, but let's uh, settle. We did, we did get got. Alright, get lost in the hoplite is fine. Blue white left. Excuse me. Hmm, they kind of smell like spell quality. That'd be rough. Uh, I'll use one of these. We're on 12 as well. We've taken a bunch of damage off our lands. I'll use on top. I think we've got 3 mana, not 4 mana. I'm happy to attack here. Play this party advantage. End. Just a cycle. Okay. They're at 9. Could have them pretty dead. You can make a token off the auto mail, it's actually kind of annoying. Dream Trawler. Golly gosh, oh my, oh my. Um. If I could guarantee the camera here, I would do this, but we'll do it this way. And just trying again. How are we losing? They have a way to get around Lord's Escape. They have like a farewell or something. We only use one trample effect. I think we keep a trample effect on top. Okay. We have Lord's Escape to protect ourselves. Um, okay, like in yeah, attacks. So we raged that one, right? Uh, that way we live. It even takes some travel damage. They get a five, effectively. Yeah. And we'll end. Again, auto veil five cards. If they, have, if they have farewell, I'll be very, very sad. But I'll be. Blue freaking sitter. That is fine. All good with me. Try and Lauren's escape the five five. Alright, I'm going to see. Uh, they've seen Claim Fames, which is a little unfortunate because it's one of our best cards in the matchup, but I think that's okay. Alright, sideboarding. What do you want? Do you want a flash? I think we do want the rending volleys. Um, mm, you got settled. Uh, the Claim Fames are awkward because they actually they, they do, they do have rats, they'll probably bring more rats in. I think we do want all these. Uh, and then as far as enchantments go. There's like temporary lockdown to worry about. Maybe bring in like one each of these. Let's sort some things out. And we cut some homes of courages. Uh cut some ancestral angers. The reckless rages I'm kind of fine with. This uh, I'm not entirely sure I feel about life. I'm just worried a little bit about the temporary lockdown. And that's pretty good there. I think this configuration is okay, but we'll we'll see how it runs. I'm still not a huge security search out of wrath. 
<clears throat> I'm still not a huge Shijiri shelter, shelter, shelter fan, to be honest. I'm not going to reset it. Try, try, try again for the third time. Shijiri Shelter. There we go. Um, I think it is fine. For like a uh, word. David Hoplite. Ah, oh, if we said like one more land. Uh, need a couple of draw steps. Problem is, if we had like something proactive to do with the favorite hoplite, it'd be fine, but these are all reactive things. They can just choose not to act if we don't have a threat to present. Okay. In keep this. Bottom planes. Interesting. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. <clears throat> They're kind of running on this, which they have cantrips. Oh, they can Oh. They have knockout blows. If they do, we've got claims. I'm not too unhappy, but hey. We'll need to play through them at some point. Uh, it's super, super efficient. It looks like they do have knockout blows. That's rough. Oh. Ugly. This is a big tank, though. Considering. Okay, they're gonna barge next on some cards from their hands. That's really good for. Well, I mean, it'd be good for us if we had more threats. We unfortunately do not. And it's a way to exile our threat. Walkers. Yikers. Alright, Legionnaire. Uh, yeah, I guess if they run a. I'm gonna get lost. Will God's willing this? Like to self resolve as white. Um, get lost from our side. I think I'm gonna bomb. Fine. Not in desperate need of it. Alright. Yeah, if they kill this, we have a claim. Well, let's stuck on two lands. Uh... Pay some life here. Um, here's the top. Rest in peace. Gosh, okay. Uh, wait, yeah. Nice, sweet. Second match there. Um, I guess I'll play one more. Alright, match number three. Opponent on the play. Um, looks solid. Looks looks solid. See what our opponent's got going on. Thought this is interesting. We have a fairly creature heavy hand, which actually feels pretty good in this situation. To be honest. The Legionnaire goes. Alright, I'll, I'll leave the Swiss Spear. Because ideally we have things we can target the Fable Hoplites with, but... Okay. Oh, they just don't have a second land. That is fair enough. Okay, um... I think I want the showdowns of the claims. And then in terms of what I want to cut, I don't... Oh, I still... <laughs> um... I think I get rid of the Reckless Radius, so you just try and go over the top of them in terms of power and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna cut one of the... Two... I cut the Homesteads and then Ancestral Anger. So we're not gonna be able to consistently target stuff as much. Mm. Yeah, uh, Homesteads are just so good. Particularly with, with Veteran, with Virtual so sorry. Um, but, yeah. This is okay.
I don't like. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't love boarding all the cantrips out either. To be fair, we have mana confluence for the. Yeah, this is solid. See, We've got to claim the stuff. They've moved to six. Okay, they've they've had a pretty. Wait, they kept the seven land, the seven card hand last time. And they just beat it after. Okay, well, they've moved to five. Watery grave into thought sees. This time they do see the claim fame, mana, uh, mana confluence stuff. Uh, do we want to get a Swiss Bear back? I think so. I think it's okay. Or a Willis. Push. We've got a one land there. They've seen the Legion there, so I'll conceal the light choice for now. Opt. Uh, didn't hit a land. A defiant strike. I'm not going to play a creature here. We've got the Lauren's Escape. There's no need to really play into it. We secure ourselves a land. Go ahead and draw that. Yeah, that's fair. That's a bunch of opponent, but we'll take it. All right, and that was Modu Heroic. Uh, three fairly solid wins. Opponent in the last match got fairly unlucky, I think, with the mulligans and stuff. But um, hey, happens, and uh, this deck's definitely designed to punish that as well. Uh, the Claim Fames, this new recent edition, have been really, really strong. Would highly recommend, if you're looking at the Heroic deck, to play the Modu build. I think this is better. There's a cost your mana base, and you definitely are taking more damage, like, and, and losing more life. We find yourself naturally on like 15 14 13 without really much interference especially with the mana confluences um but the upside is super super high the claim fame is like especially with blue eye control getting more popular um definitely worth playing and you get to play a reason of interaction as well and you can tune a little bit if you're worried a bit about amani you can like put more reckless rages in main you can do a bunch of different things depending on your local meta game as well uh i'm currently preparing for pioneer rcq season and this is one of my i guess main contenders if I can prevent myself from sleeping up Dredge and trying to take it to a paper tournament where everyone's going to have, like, rest in pieces and graveyard hate. Um, but hey. Uh, again, I think, yeah, very, very solid. Uh, there's some numbers that I'm like, hmm, I wonder if there's what's to be done here. Uh, I don't, I just, I'm not, like, the biggest lover of Shiri Shelter, but your two drops are, are so good, but it's kind of like, okay. And then playing a two drop out and getting it shot is not as bad when you have Claim to Fame in the deck. Um, again, the Reckless Rages, depending on what you think you'll be facing. Against, again, like against the Mali, if you think you're going to be playing against more creature decks, then you can increase this number. But, if you're worried, well, um, in Explorer as well, you can maybe set this number up even more. In Paper, there are more decks that are, like, less interactive. Things like Lotus Fields, where these are just deck cards. Um, but, something to keep in mind and be aware of. Um, other than that, I think the list is very, very good. We didn't get to see much of the sideboard, but I think this is pretty much how I want it configured. Like, the Light of Hopes, I'm not, like, 100% sure it's certain on. Um, Bending Volley's, like, definitely a really, really good card to be playing. So I don't know if we want to necessarily load up on these as much, but hey. Overall, I think it's really good. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do like subscribe, share the video around, and if you're interested in watching uh, me stream these games live, then check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash tr3vology. Uh, there'll be a link in the description and stuff as well. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace out.